A manhunt is underway this morning for a predator who is breaking into homes and assaulting children in the northern New South Wales town of Kingscliff. Nine's Karianne Greenbank is at Tweed Police Station this morning. Kari, good morning. Terrifying for parents in Kingscliff. Do police have any idea who this man is? Good morning, Sylvia. Well, police have told us they believe they do know who this man is, but it's just the process of catching him now. We've been speaking with the parents of one of the victims, a 12-year-old girl. They told us yesterday that they haven't been able to sleep since this unfolded. They're angry, they're scared, and they just want this man caught. Now, what we know is that between the hours of around 11.30 p.m. on Tuesday and around 4 o'clock Wednesday morning, this man started breaking into houses. He broke into three homes. He tried to break into a fourth, but he didn't get in. In the three homes that he did get into, all of them in Kingscliff, he has walked straight into children's bedrooms. Police have been interviewing a 8-year-old, a 12-year-old and a 15-year-old. They have all recounted their harrowing ordeals which involved them waking up to find the man sitting on the end of their bed and touching them, doing things like stroking their legs. Now their parents quickly called police and police launched a manhunt. They have been searching for this man ever since. They've had officers scouring streets, door knocking the neighbours. They even called down the Gold Coast dog squad but so far they have not found him. Uh, they do have a description of the man though provided by the kids. He's roughly between 25 and 35 years old. He's tall around 180 centimetres in height. Uh, he's skinny, he has noticeably bad body odour and he's possibly homeless. Let's have a listen to what police have to say. We're really appealing to um, the members of the public in that Kingscliff area, Lorian Way, uh, Pearl Street, Kingscliff to come forward. Um, with any information that they may have, no matter how small they think it is, um, it could be important to us in, in, in uh, finding who this person is. And police are continuing to search for this man this morning, Sylvia. They say they are still waiting for forensic evidence, uh, the results of those to be returned from the crime scenes, which were the houses. Uh, they may have some success with that today. And that number for Crime Stoppers, one 800 333 Kari, thank you.